Hey guys, and welcome back to a new Jappa Compose tutorial. In this quick video, I will show you how you can persistently save the scroll position of the lazy column. So by default, a lazy column already saves the scroll position for screen rotations and even process depth, but it does not save that for real application depth. So if you swipe away the app from the recently used apps tab and then relaunch it, then the lazy column will always start at item zero. For lots of apps, that is exactly what you want, but there are also types of apps, for example, social media feeds, where it's reasonable to save the scroll position of a lazy column persistently. For example, I think the Twitter app does that so that if you actually close the app and then get back into the app, then, then you'll land at exactly the scroll position where you left the app so you can just read the content that you've missed so far. So you can see as soon as I scroll a little bit here in my sample column until item 64, for example, if we then close the app, relaunch the app, then you will notice that we actually uh, yeah, land at exactly that item where we left it. I already prepared a little lazy column here in an empty Android Studio project apart from this lazy column. Um, so just filling the whole size, a little bit of padding, and then putting in a hundred texts like this. And if we now want to save the scroll position persistently, we in the end need something to save things persistently. And for this use case, something like shared preferences would work just fine. So we want to get a reference to prefs by lazy and we get that using our application context, get shared preferences. Let's call them simply prefs and here we pass mode private so no other app can read our preferences. And then all we really need to do here is we need to create a lazy list state like this. So val lazy list state is equal to remember lazy list state and this is a state we now need to pass to our lazy column. So this takes in um, the state parameter, which is equal to lazy list state. And with this lazy list state, we now have the option to observe when we scroll in this lazy column. So on the one hand, we of course want to save the scroll position while scrolling. And on the other hand, we want to read the saved scroll position when we launch our app and then assign that as the initial scroll position for our lazy column. To be able to observe the current scroll position, we can use a launch defect block. We can say launch defect, pass in our lazy list state as a key so that this launch defect block will re-execute every single time the lazy list state changes. And what I want to use in here is a so-called snapshot flow. A snapshot flow is used to convert a compose state into a flow. So every single time the compose state changes, the flow will emit a new value. And in here, we're going to put in the lazy list state that first visible item index. So whenever the first visible item index changes, which is just the index of the first visible item, in this case, the index of this item 64, Whenever that changes, this flow that we create here will emit a value and we can now collect these values. So we can say dot collect and let's actually use collect latest here. This will give us the um, scroll position or just index. So the first visible item index and we can now use that and save it in preferences. So we can say prefs dot put or actually prefs dot edit dot put integer and we save that with the key scroll position put in this index and then call apply to apply these changes. And now this will of course cause quite many insertions into our preferences because every single time we scroll here and the first index changes, which happens all the time here in this lazy column. So if we scroll completely to the bottom, it changes like 85 times and we would update our preferences 85 times. This is not optimal. And to fix that, I'd like to add a flow operator here, which is called that debounce. Here we can add a timeout, for example, 500 milliseconds, and then also to get rid of this warning, I'll enter to add this flow preview to main activity. What this debounce operator will do is it will basically wait 500 milliseconds after every single change of this value. And if there is no change within this 500 milliseconds window, it will just collect the value. But if we scroll very quickly, for example, like here, and the values just change much quicker than 500 milliseconds, then it will simply not um, emit that into this collect latest function. So we will not update the scroll position. We'll only update the scroll position as soon as this value did not change for a time period of 500 milliseconds. So in this case, as soon as the user pretty much stops scrolling. So this will properly save the scroll position. Now let's also load it here on create val scroll position is equal to prefs.getintegr pass in our scroll position key 
and the default value is simply zero. Since then we will just start at the very first index. And then how do we now tell our lazy column that we want to start at exactly that scroll position? Well, we want to pass that into this remember lazy list state function for the initial first visible item index. And here we can pass in our scroll position. And if we now try this out, take a look in our on our phone, and then we scroll a little bit, for example, till item 43, we then close our app, relaunch it, we should be, um, yeah, we, we should see the item directly on top. And to maybe also quickly show you how this debounce works, if we add a print line statement in here, for example, saving scroll position, and we then go to Lockhead, search for that, saving scroll position, and then relaunch the app. We should see some logs. So let's switch back to Lockhead. Here it's initially saving the scroll position once. And then if we scroll, then it won't save this all the time, but only if we don't scroll for 500 milliseconds, like here. If we remove this debounce, however, and relaunch, then you will see that this will save this all the time in shared preferences. So right here, um, take a look here on the left. If we scroll, it will save so many scroll positions, which isn't even necessary in this case. So that is why we add this debounce here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, definitely let me know that down below. And I wish you an amazing rest of your week and see you back in the next one. Bye bye.